Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. In this short video I'm going to be showing you how to make this 3D interactive and animated menu. So let's get into it. Firstly we'll start on a blank presentation and we'll choose layout blank. Then we're going to create our three tiles. I'm going to click on the rounded corner rectangle and then click on the slide. I'm going to make it a little bit less rounded using this yellow dot and a bit bigger. Now I'm going to change the shape and the outline to this standard blue here just for this example. I'm going to right click, I'm going to choose format shape and then when I go to this effects section there's 3D format and 3D rotation. The first thing I'm going to do is from this preset menu choose isometric top up. Then I'm going to add 10 point to the depth and I'm going to change the lighting to this second option here, balance. And that's the tile style I want for this example. I'm going to click on it and then type option 1. Just going to change this font to Poppins, make it bold, make it a bit bigger and then I'm going to stretch up the tile a little bit more by holding down shift and dragging the corner handle. Just going to make the font a tiny bit bigger. That's perfect for me. So there's the first tile in our menu. And if I press Ctrl D, that would duplicate the second tile in our menu. And if I press Ctrl D again, it will duplicate the third tile. I'm going to make this one orange and make the outline orange the same. Then I'm going to make this one green. And make the outline the same. I'm then going to type option two and option three in those boxes. I'm going to select them all, group them, center align them. So the first thing I want to do is animate them coming in. And to do that, we're going to start off with a duplication of the slide. So I'll press Ctrl D to duplicate the slide. I'm going to zoom out a little bit here. I'm going to go to the first slide and I'm going to drag them. I'm going to ungroup them first. And then I'm going to drag them up off the slide. And you can choose wherever you drag them to. The higher ones will come in last. So on this example, I might want the first one to come in, then number two, and then number three. And then we click on slide two, go to transitions and select morph. And you can see them come in there, which look pretty good. But I'm also going to add a tiny bit of rotation. So we'll go onto these first ones on slide one and we'll go into the 3D rotation and we can use something like isometric right up. Just going to drag them off a bit more and you can see that when that comes in it will then rotate them down. I think that looks good. Now we're going to build the interaction. So the first thing we do is Control D on slide two. I'm going to move option two out the way and option three out the way. Because it's still set to morph, those will animate. And then I'm going to drag option one into the middle. I'm going to go to the 3D rotation. And I'm just going to rotate them a bit, just so you can see option one. And it make, gives it a nice effect. So five clicks on the up of Y rotation. And seven clicks on the clockwise of Z rotation. And that's about what I want. So we'll just go to slide two and check this is working. Excellent, looks good. So one thing I'm going to change on here is just make sure that the duration is only about a second so it happens a bit snappier. Then finally, I'm going to right click on this and choose link, place in this document and then make it link to slide three. I'm now going to duplicate this slide again with control D and this is going to be our option two. So I'm going to move option one over here, option three over here, and I'm just going to rotate option two in the same way that I did the last one. There are two ways of doing this. I can click as I did before, or you can actually press control shift C and then apply it. The thing is, this will apply the colour as well as the rotation, but sometimes it's easier to do that and quicker because now I can just easily go back and change the colour 
and it means that if you've got some complicated rotation settings or 3D settings, you can just apply them with Control Shift C and Control Shift V. So now I'm going to go to slide two, right click, choose link, link to my option two. And then finally, I'm just going to quickly do option three in the same way. So I'm going to move option one and two off. Bring option three into the center. I'm going to do what I did last time, which is to go to the one with the correct rotation and press Control Shift C and then press Control Shift V on this and just quickly change it back to green. Finally, put the link on option three. Let's go to slide five. And there we'll have an interactive animated menu that goes to each of these. There's one last thing we need to do, and that's just add in a button to go back to the menu. So I'm going to go to the first one here, click on rounded rectangle again. I'm just going to make this back button a bit more subtle, a bit grey, no outline. I'm going to type back, change that to the font, drag it into the bottom corner, right click, link it back to the menu, which is slide two, control C, control V, and control V again. So it's on all of the slides so I can come back. Now I'm going to play it from the beginning. Option one, option two, option three. Brilliant. So there's a three-dimensional interactive menu with animation. Hope you liked it and I'll see you in the next video.